I'm Sean Woodland in the Inside Elite Fitness Studios. Matt Fraser is going for his record tying fourth straight CrossFit Games Championship in 2019, and he has already locked up a spot in Madison thanks to his victory at the Dubai CrossFit Championship. I spoke with Matt about his outlook on the 2019 game season and how he continues to stay motivated to keep competing at such a high level. You are qualified for the CrossFit Games before the Open has even started since you, you won Dubai. How does that kind of change the way, if at all, that you know, you're going to approach training now going into the Games? It doesn't really change too much for me at all. From my understanding, it's more valuable to qualify out of the Open. So, you know, I'm still going to do the Open. I'm going to take it very seriously. You know, I've been training back in my routine for a couple of weeks now. So, you know, just going to hit the Open, try to keep as much of a the same routine that's worked for me in the past of doing the open um the rogue invitational lines up basically with when regionals used to be so gonna do that kind of as a test run uh and then try to get ready for the games but you know it's kind of the same old same old you know just training hard and getting ready you actually answered two questions i want to ask you but I, I, there we have 11 sanctioned events left you mentioned the rogue invitational how will you decide where and when and if you want to compete anymore in those uh, right now, it's I'm only planning on doing the Rogue Invitational. My number one priority is still the games, so that's what everything is geared towards. Uh, you know, I like the timing of the Rogue Invitational, and I can drive to it. There's no planes involved. It's so easy, and I trust that it's going to be amazing. So that's that's the reason for going to that one. A lot of times, when athletes reach a level of success that you've had, they kind of lose the edge. They lose motivation. It seems to be opposite with you. Where do you think that comes from? You know, I, I always try to say, like, you know, how you do anything is how you do everything. So, you know, anything I, I do, I want to do it to to the full extent of what I'm capable of. You know, I want to I, I don't want to half-ass anything. You know, if I'm doing it, I want to dedicate and see what's possible. You know, before CrossFit, it was the same thing with school. You know, I wanted I wanted straight A's. I wanted to be top of my class. And uh, so I, I, I just, like, I enjoy – finding a problem and working out a solution for it. Um, and so that's basically just what I do every day in the gym. Along those lines, I don't know if keeping you up at night is the right phrase, but is there a guy that you know, when you're in the gym and you might be having a little trouble getting motivated, you, you think, man, this dude's breathing down my neck. I need to, to push harder. Who is that guy for you? No, I don't look at uh, other competition. Um, I don't think like, oh, you know, my swimming's not good. Uh, this guy, this guy, and this guy are going to pass me in swim events. Oh, my clean and jerks aren't going the way I want to. This guy, this guy. Like, no. Other people, other competitors have very little impact on my decisions and what I do. Uh, you know, they're capable of what they're capable of and has no effect on me. I want to thank Matt Fraser for taking the time to do that interview. We have a lot more athlete interviews coming up from the Inside Elite Fitness Studios. Don't miss any of them by subscribing to our channel on YouTube. And please subscribe to our podcast, Talking Elite Fitness. You can find it on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.